A few months ago, I made this video about Google Agent Space, an AI tool that will act as the central hub for all of your data and automate a ton of repetitive tasks. And that video absolutely blew up. Because honestly, who wouldn't want to work less? But what if I told you that you don't need to wait for Agent Space anymore? Because Google Gemini for Workspace just got a life changing update that can already do a ton of the things you were so excited about. Check this out. I've just received an email from a prospect, Mac Studios looking to get a paid promotion. Now, I don't remember if we've talked in the past, so I'd like to know what the client's history is across my whole workspace. I'm talking all of our past email conversations, what we talked about in meetings before, any related documents and sheets in my drive. Now, instead of searching for all of that manually across several apps, I just need to open my customer history gem right here, type in the name of the client or the company, and Gemini will find the past information across all of my workspace apps. As you can see, we've got all of the previous emails, sheets, proposals, meeting notes, everything just popped up in one second. And the best news is that this bot only took me about a minute to create and absolutely no code with the new workspace as feature inside of Gems. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to build bots just like this one to automate a ton of repetitive tasks. And we'll also talk about what each workspace app is capable of and what are the limitations. Let's get right into it. Before I show you how to build one of these Bots, let me show you two amazing automations I made with this feature so you can see just how far you can take this. Starting with simple but extremely effective, a bot that will do all your weekly follow ups. All I have to do is open my follow up pro gem and then type in follow ups, and the bot will scan my whole Gmail account looking for prospects that haven't responded to me in the last few weeks. It will then analyze every single email conversation and create a draft for each follow-up. Let's go ahead and type that in so you can see just how it works. And as you can see, we've got a list of all of our prospects, their email addresses, conversation summaries, so I can remember what we've talked about. And then we've also got the follow-up title and draft. Now, I could either just copy and paste this, but I'd like to automate this process more. So all I have to do is just type start. It. And as you can see, I've got the follow-up for our first prospect. Now, to send that follow-up, all I have to do is just press on the share button right here and export it as a draft in Gmail. And as you can see, our draft was just created and all that's left for me to do now is just copy the email and paste it into the recipient box, copy the title and paste it into the title box and just send. It's only been about a minute, but I'm already finished with all my follow-ups for the week. Now, considering we can't send emails directly from Gemini, I still think it's pretty impressive and saved me a ton of time. I didn't have to create a sheet for follow-ups. I didn't have to go through my mailbox and think, oh, what prospects do I need to message? And also I didn't have to read the whole conversation. So I still think it's very impressive. Our next spot is just a little bit more complex but you don't want to miss it. This is the bot I made to automate all of my tasks after I finish a meeting. Now, when I have a meeting with a prospect, I just have to press on the pencil icon right here to turn on the note taker. And this way, once the meeting is finished, a document like this one will automatically be created with our meeting notes and transcript. Now, since we can access docs in Gemini, I just have to open my post-meeting bot type in tasks plus my customer or company name, and that will find this said document with my most recent meeting notes. Now, let's say I've just had a meeting with Michael from Amplify AI. So I'll just type out tasks, Michael. And as you can see right here, we've got a very clean answer with meeting summary, the customer and tasks I need to complete and what Michael needs to do. Now, there are two things I'd like to do from him. First, I'd like to add the tasks that I personally need to do into my Google Tasks list or Google Calendar. And I also need to follow Michael up with all of the details we need from him. I just need to type in add. And as you can see, it will automatically add everything I need to do into the Google Tasks list. And now to follow Michael up, I just need to type out the follow-up command. 
And as you can see, processed everything we need from him and created a follow-up draft with the template I added to the instructions. You'll see here that we've got the meeting recap, everything that we've talked about, and it also wrote out what information we need for the contract and invoice. Now it's time for you to actually learn how to build one of these bots. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure you have workspace apps activated in your Gemini account because this feature is still in beta. To do this, you're going to have to go to Google Admin or ask someone in charge to do that. Then you're just going to click Generative AI and you'll see Gemini app right here. And when you scroll down on the right, you'll see the apps setting. As you can see, it says workspace apps in beta. So this is what you need. You're just going to click that and make sure you have allow access to workspace apps in beta tick right here enabled. And then you're just going to click save. And to make sure this worked, you're just going to go to your Gemini account with your workspace email. You're going to type in the ad sign and you're going to see all of these apps enabled right here. Now to create a gem like this, you're just going to go to explore gems right here on the left. And to add a new bot, just click add a new gem. So there are just a couple of things you need to do here. First, you just need to give it a quick name and then you need to give it a set of instructions. So the instructions are basically how the bot will function. So you saw me use a ton of commands like the task command or the follow up command. This is where we'll specify that. And you can also provide templates and documents in the knowledge base right here. Now, the way this is going to work with workspace apps is every time you want the gem to do something with an app, you're just going to have to paste it kind of as a link by tapping on the add sign and uh, choosing workspace. So for example, if you would like to find everything on a client in workspace, you're just gonna type in add workspace, find all information on the client. Now, I'm sure you've used a VPN before, but what if I told you that there's a way to browse even safer? Imagine opening a browser window where websites don't know where or who you are. Let me show you something. I wanted to access Google Labs tools, but as always, it's only available in the US. Normally, I just get this not available in your country message, but with Go Login, I just launch a new browser profile, set my location to the US, pick a clean environment and boom, all of the apps load like I've always lived there. And it gets even better. I can choose different device types, swap locations in seconds and open as many windows as I like without anything getting flagged. And when I'm done, I can simply just close the window and the identity vanishes like it never existed. So if you want security, privacy and complete online freedom, Go Login is the way to go. Every new user gets that's two gigabytes of residential proxies completely for free. So go ahead and try it out with the link in the description. Now let's actually see the instructions I gave the last three bots I've shown you in this video so you can see exactly how this works in practice. So let's go ahead and start with the customer history gem that will find information on your customer across your whole workspace account. So the way I actually like giving instructions to my gems is by first giving them a command and then an action to complete upon this command. So when a client or company name, which is the customer, is typed into the chat, use at workspace to find all related emails, files, documents, and sheets mentioning the customer. So the command here is basically the client or company name typed into the chat. So if I type in Michael or I type in Amplify AI, the gem will use workspace to find all of the related emails, files, documents, and sheets. I also like to specify the format of the answer so the AI doesn't have to guess so much what to say. So I wrote, display it in the following order. First, we've got the summary, which is the client's whole history, latest contact, latest update, why the contact ceased, uh, be as detailed as possible. So again, it shows you exactly what you need. Then I'd like to know everything we've talked about in meetings. So it's going to search for a document with the meeting notes that was generated by Gemini automatically when the meeting ended. Then I'd like it to uh, display the email history, basically analyze all of the email conversations we've had before. And then I'd also like it to display all of the documents I've created for them. So this could be things like contracts and voices. Next, let's check out the follow-up prom instructions that is going to do all of our weekly follow-ups. So in the instructions here, I wrote, when a user types in follow-ups, scan at Gmail for prospects that haven't responded to my emails last week, and then create a follow-up draft for each 
one and also specified the format. So first of all, I'd like to see the list of all of the prospects. And for each list item, I'd like to see a prospect name, a company name, an email address, a conversation summary. So to know everything that we've talked about previously, follow-up title in a format and follow-up a draft plus the template. Now, I think it's important to provide the follow-up or email templates so the AI doesn't have to guess what to include and what not to include. And then I'd like to automate the process of follow-ups as well. So the next step is for the user to type in the next command, which is going to be start. And that's going to show the prospect one information, which is the email address, follow-up title and draft, the ones that I can just easily export and send out. And that is it. Lastly, let's check out our post meeting task bot instructions that is going to automate everything we need to do after a meeting. Now, this one is a tiny bit more complex, but the logic is still the same. I separated everything in a couple of steps. So step one is actually going to be finding our meeting notes file. And the command for that is going to be tasks because we're going to extract the actions from the transcript. So when a user types in task plus any specific information about the meeting, like customer, company, name something we've talked about in the meeting we're going to use the at google drive to find that file and i also typed out the uh, name format because gemini usually names it in a very similar fashion this way we're not going to find any irrelevant files that have the meeting keyword in them and then once we have found that file we're going to summarize the meeting in the following format. First, I'd like to see a quick meeting summary just to make sure it's the right one. Then we've got the name and the company. And then we've got the tasks list from the analyzed transcript summary. So we've got the list of tasks for me to do if my name is mentioned and then the task for the customer to do. So once our meeting summary and tasks are extracted, I'd like to have the option to add the tasks I need to do into my Google task list or Google calendar. So this is what step two is about. Last day, straight after our meeting is finished, I'd like to send an email follow-up to my customer, just reminding them the details I need. So this is what we're going to do in step three. So if a user types in the command follow-up, you're going to create an email draft asking for necessary details from the customer. And here is the format I specified. First, we've got the subject and then we've got the recipient. So basically, based on the file, the gem has no idea who the person is. So I'm going to search at Gmail for conversations we've had with that customer so we can find an email address. And I also specified the draft here. So basically what to include in the email so the AI doesn't have to guess so much what to say. And for each document, like the contract and invoice, I provided different specifications. So for the invoice, for example, I need to ask for the company name, for the address in this following format, uh, emails used for finances, corporate phone number, and representative name. Obviously, this is going to be very custom to your workflow. Now that you understand the logic behind building these bots, let's talk about what each workspace app is capable of doing inside of Gemini. Starting with probably the most functional one, Google Tasks, having this app inside of Gemini is absolutely amazing, especially when you combine it with other tools, like you could have it analyze an entire docs document and then extract a list of actions from that and add it to Google Tasks. So here's what you can do inside of this app. We can add new tasks, reminders for any date on time and also base them on the conversation we've had before with Gemini. You can find existing tasks in your account. We also get the option to edit existing ones, change the date, time, and even the name. And we also get to complete and delete tasks. So pretty much no limitations here. So this gives you the opportunity to automate a ton of work, like you could create a bot that schedules your entire week based on your emails, documents, or previous conversations. So we've got Google Calendar next, which is fairly similar here we can add any events, including the ones based on your conversation history. You can have it find any events with a specific date, time, and other details like participants or event subject. So you could ask it to find an event for a specific email address or a person, and it will find that. We get the option to edit existing calendar events, updating date, time, and name. And finally, you can cancel any events. We've got 
uh, a few limitations here. First of all, we can't add guests or remove them from our event, which is a bummer. I wish they added this. Could be pretty useful. And also, you can't automatically generate meeting links. You'll have to go to Google Meet to copy the link and paste it inside of the event. But overall, it's pretty good. And it gives you the opportunity to create bots that have full access to your calendar. Like you could create one that books, cancels, and edits events for you. We've got Gmail next. It's not the smoothest integration there is because we can't really send emails directly from inside of Gemini, but I still think it's pretty useful because you could have it find emails or email addresses from your mailbox and then have it draft responses like we get with the follow-up pro bot. And with the share button right here, you can export it as an email draft and then just add the email manually. Now let's talk about Google Keep. It's quite limited, but I still use it all the time to do things like create new notes. You could also create lists and add more items to an existing list you've got in your Google Keep. And you could have it find information in existing notes and lists and display it or analyze it. Unfortunately, we do get quite a few limitations. You can't edit existing notes that you already got in your Keep, aside from adding a couple more items to your list. And you also can't delete anything. As for the Google Docs integration, it is pretty limited because you can't really add docs documents directly, but you can use the workaround with the share button basically to export any answers you get from Gemini as a document. And you could also find and extract information from your docs or have it analyze specific documents. Next, we've got more general integrations, Google Drive and Workspace. You could use this to find and retrieve information from several apps at the same time, which is absolutely amazing. So using the Drive integration, you could find information across your whole Drive account, things like sheets, documents. For example, we could build a bot to find all documents and all information on a specific client across your Drive. And using Workspace, it's kind of pretty similar, but you also can look up emails. For now, the functionality of all of these apps is pretty limited, but I still think it's a very good start. And I've personally built a ton of gems like these, and I now use them all the time to work with clients. It really makes my life so much easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the latest Google Workspace Updates episode, where I show you how to use all of its latest new features, like transcribing videos inside of Google Drive or generating AI voiceovers for free. Don't forget to check out Go Login with the link in the description to browse safely and have complete online freedom. I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately. I've been really sick for the past few weeks, but starting next week, you'll be getting much more content out of this channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.